He's as well he should. Yeah. Villager lanes have to keep out. Because his frame data is not good enough to like box in with the other guys. His jab's phenomenal, but... Ooh, oh, I love that early. option. Yeah. Got the Lloyd rocket into a slingshot hit, so... But, yeah. Now, what what Ike has in his advantage is that he's actually faster than Villager. He's not fast, but he's faster than Villager, so... He can close the gap easily and use that big disjointed hitbox to try to get past um, Summer Haze's wall. Yeah, I do like uh, Hat Dude's gameplay style, though. He's not fearing just, like, trying to stay out there and trying to find yeah. his way. He's the thing finding is, his way in. Yeah, the, big, the key to beating Villager is figuring out how to get in, because uh, up close he's not that good. His strength is keeping people out and just, you know, frustrating you, baiting you into mistake, and then getting him. Right. Just like he is right now, keeping him up with those turnips. Yeah, I was playing a bunch of random dittos with uh, <laughs> a bunch of people, and I got Villager at one point, and I got one one turn up like every time. I was just annoyed. Wow. But we'll see. I, I don't. Oh, wow. Okay. The sword went up at a really. <laughs> it somehow. It, went... it somehow went through Smashville. Yeah, it so went... that's amazing. It was at the thick of Smashville, and then like he recovered off to the ledge. That was interesting. True enough. Ooh. Yeah, you want to use that fair off stage? Oh, Beautiful. wow! Really well done it recovery really there. Really deep, yeah. But no, that, fa that fair off stage is going to be extremely important for Ike because that covers a lot of space and it does kill pretty reliably. So yeah. he's got to build up Summer Hage's percent because Summer Hage does not have a hitbox on that recovery. Yeah, up air will do it. Yeah, he was looking for that up air setup pretty uh, a lot, but like that is one of his main kill moves. If it I'm is because um, after a while it sets up. It's a there's a 50-50 setup from I don't. I think up throw, I think down throw also works. Down throw is also a kill throw, uh, but not so very high percent. I believe, yeah, down throw set up into combos, and I do... Oh, no, up throw does. sets up into combos. I'm just wondering if down throw also does. Down throw does it low percent, oh, yeah, then it's a kill throw. throw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It do, it, it it's like Bayo's. Does. It's a kill throw that kills like 200. It, it does sometimes <laughs> set up in the up air. All right, good nair. Villager's nair is so good. It's mm. frame three. It lasts forever. Yeah. It's just a wonderful gimmick. <laughs> Ooh, the up close Lloyd Rock will do it. But no, that's just a wonderful out of shield option. Really, whenever you're getting up close, that's the option you should go for because his grab is really slow. His yeah. kill throw, his back throw is very strong, but his grab is very bad. Ooh. Yeah, it was an interesting option going for the bowling ball that, uh, that far away, actually. I really like what Hat Dude's doing. He's just like, he's, he's, he's spacing his moves extremely well. Like that Nair, mm. like that move starts like at the upper right corner of, um, of Ike. And he was just able to nick Summer Haze right there. Right. Like, right at the most optimal point of the move. So. He does a, He has a really good control of the neutral so far, but just as like, you As you should with, like... Yeah, but Summer Haze, just, like, he can just stay out of the neutral zone and just wall you out with those things shots. Exactly. Ooh! Nice read on that get-up and a great up smash. Just take wonderful, wonderful weight there on that up wow. smash. Wow. It's a great up smash by the hat dude. We'll take it out. Um... I believe uh, he was at like 90 some percent. I'm pretty yeah. sure that would have killed it like 60 when it was charged up. With Ike, yeah. Yeah, that move's extremely strong, very punishable, but it is really good at covering get up options because it has a lot of range. So, and the fact that it starts from one end and goes to the other, it actually will cover both neutral get up and the roll. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if, so it's a really great option. If Cloud Sword is a bench, then Ike's is like a log. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Right, so, or a lead pipe. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> more accurate. But uh, we'll yeah. see. All right, so we're going to Battlefield. Now, I know uh, Rio, who's widely regarded as the best Ike in the world, loves Ike on Battlefield. Um, oh, a big yeah, reason for that is that his uh, his F smash will cover the top of the platform, mm -hmm. so he can do a lot of shenanigans there. And he can pressure top platforms up air really easily. Yeah, the aerial platform uh, pressure setups. We'll see. Be. That being said, it also gives uh, Summer Haze a lot more room to just get away and uh, do what he wants to do. So. Yeah, because We'll see what ends up uh, it working out better for. He is fast enough, Ooh. so he can go Oh, around. no, he could have. If he had gotten yeah. the triple turn up, he would have gotten the ground lock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. uh, the Nair does, at low percents, induce a uh, platform slide, so... Platform slides, by the way, are basically functionally identical to footstool knockback in the sense that you cannot tech it. Hmm. So it's an Im it's important. I think that little plant's Ooh. gonna wither away at this point. Yep, there it goes. Right now, Summer right, the playing very percent patient. lead there. Ike's back air is also really good. It's like frame six or seven, and when you have a kill a kill move that's that fast, that's really good. It's faster than human reaction time, so you have oh, to predict the it. Of the, the tree, tree. Will send them out for first stop. Get sprouted. <laughs> yeah, you, you have a growth. Here's mine. <laughs> oh wow! See, All right. that was eighty percent. Going through the Lloyd too. That it was, was nice. it was questionable to guy on Summer Haze's end, but uh, yeah, that forward air will kill very reliably off stage. It's very important to back up damage so you can go for that option because Villager again, no hitbox on that recovery. So if you bait the air dodge. And right now he's Your doing money. a good job walling out Summer. He's keeping him on this side of the stage here. And I like what he's doing there. He didn't go for up smash that time because he did. He, there was no point in staling it. Mm. And uh, at this percentage, he could have eaten up a big punish. So. 
Yep, up throw. Dodge, but they are on platform. Yep, another platform. Yes, retreat. Oh, almost had the that read. That was a really great option, but yeah. Villager's ground speed coming into play there. He's just not that fast. <laughs> that dude just started, like, walking up slowly there. That, that's that's how you get people nervous. Right now, Summer Haste is good Ooh, pressure. Ooh, up smash. Up not smash, gonna do it yet. But he has to recover with that up air. Right in the wings. Oh! Just if that rocket had gone, and I'm, I'm pretty sure he still has super armor, but if that I don't if know. that pebble had connected, oh wow, dash attack nearly taken out Summer Haze there. And he'll make it back. Villager's recovery goes oh, yeah. forever distance. Yeah. If he wanted to, he could have probably gone to the other side. Like playing a little more safe. Ooh, oh, I love the option of going for pivot grab, but again, his uh, pivot grab extremely slow. And I like what it would have killed probably. I like what Summer Haze is doing, never. retreating out to the side. The fair. But Ike's Fair, ladies and gentlemen, is such a good move. Such wow. a reliable kill option offstage. And I mean, I'm not trying to diss uh, Hat Dude here. I, I just never seen him before at the tourney. True. For him to take out Summer Haze at 2-0, that's incredible. Yep. Even on stream, too. Yeah, well done. Well Major done. I don't know what I don't know what that matchup is like, but he played that 